So this question says the formula below is often used by project managers to compute E, right? So we see the formula. So I always like to rewrite the formula myself. I don't know why. Um, sometimes it's very useful. Sometimes it doesn't really matter, but I just make it a habit to write it down myself. All right, so uh, then it says the estimated time to complete a job, so that's what E is, where O is the shortest completion time. All right, I'm just gonna underline this stuff because that's important. P is the longest completion time, and M is the most likely completion time. All right, which of the following correctly gives P in terms of E, O, and M? Okay, so this question really is what I call a rearrangement question rearrangement, which means we're not really solving anything. We're just rearranging things, right? So we take this original equation and we want to rearrange it to the point where we have P equals. That's what it means by P in terms of, right? We want all these other letters, E, O, and M somehow on this side of the equal sign and P to be on the left side. So I'm going to just rewrite this again so it's clear what I'm doing. And because I want P alone, I'm going to just start peeling things away. So my first thing here is I see the P that I want. It's here. The problem with this is it's uh, in the numerator. I have a 6 in the denominator here. So if I multiply both sides by 6, I'm going to get closer to my ability to isolate P. So I'd have 6 E equals O plus 4 M plus P. And then um, I want to remove O. So I'm going to subtract O. I also want to remove 4 M. So I'm going to also subtract 4 M. And I'm going to do that to both sides because that's what we do with algebra. And therefore, the O's on this side cross out, the four M's on this side cross out, and I'm left with just P, which is exactly what I wanted. It is on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side, but that doesn't really matter so much. So what do I have left on the left-hand side? Well, I have this 6E that was up there, right? And then I have a minus O, right, and a minus 4M, and that's all I can do. There's no more simplification that I can use. And I circle that because my correct answer is choice A, right? So although, again, the P is on the left-hand side in the answer, it's on the right-hand side in the work that I did, it doesn't really matter. I can always just rearrange this and put P here and say that it's still equal to 6E minus O minus 4M. So choice A is our best answer here.